The Second Battle of Bulu, the 29th of April to the 1st of May 1794, was a battle in the War of the Pyrenees, part of the French Revolutionary Wars. This battle saw the French Army of the Eastern Pyrenees led by Jacques-François Dugamier attacking the joint Spanish-Portuguese Army of Catalonia under Luis Fermin de Carvajal, Conde de la Union. Dugamier's decisive victory resulted in the French regaining nearly all the land they lost to the Kingdom of Spain in 1793. Le Boulou is on the modern A9 highway, 20 km 12 miles south of the department capital at Perpignan and 7 km 4 miles north of Le Perthus on the France-Spain border. The spring of 1794 found the Spanish army holding a slice of French territory south of the Tech River and north of the Pyrenees. The Spanish right wing on the Mediterranean coast was separated from the center and left wing by a mountainous gap. First, Dugamier mounted a successful feint with his right wing that drew Spanish troops away from the center. Then he launched powerful French forces into the gap. These forces circled behind the Spanish center and forced their adversaries to retreat across a difficult mountain pass. The Spanish suffered heavy losses of troops and abandoned their wagon trains and all their artillery. Background Topic 1793 The year 1793 was a difficult time for the poorly trained French forces defending Roussillon against the Spanish army of Captain General Antonio Ricardos. The Siege of Bellegarde concluded in June with the French surrender of the Fort de Bellegarde, which dominated the key pass of Le Perthus through the Pyrenees. However, Ricardo's was repelled in the Battle of Perpignan on 17 July. The French army revived again under General of Division Eustache Charles Doust to deal their enemies a sharp reverse at the Battle of Peristortes on 17 September. Five days later, Ricardos defeated the French at the Battle of Truillas. Subsequently, the Spanish general fell back to the valley of the Tech River where he repulsed a series of French attempts to drive him back into Spain. Doust tried and failed to oust the Spanish from Le Boulou on 3 October. In the Battle of the Tech or Pla del Rey from 13 to 15 October, Ricardos bloodily repulsed the attacks of General of Division Louis Marie Thoreau. Doust was defeated again in his 7 December attack on Vallelong dels Monts. The Spanish seized Fort St. Elmy through the treason of its commander and captured the port of Collure on 20 December, wiping out 4,000 of its garrison of 5,000 men. Soon afterward, Doust was arrested and eventually executed. <laughs> New commanders Fresh from his victory at the Siege of Toulon, General of Division Jacques-François Dugamier arrived to lead the army on 16 January 1794. He began a complete reorganization of the army, setting up supply depots, hospitals, and arsenals, and also improving roads. After getting reinforcements from the Toulon army, Dugamier's field army numbered 28,000. These troops were supported by 20,000 garrison troops and 9,000 Green Volunteers. He formed his field army into three infantry divisions under generals of Division Dominique Catherine de Perignon, Pierre Augereau, and Pierre-François Serret. There was a 2,500-strong cavalry division led by General of Division André de la Barre and a reserve headed by General of Brigade Claude Perrin Victor. A report from 30 April 1794 listed Serret's left division as having a strength of 7,362 infantry and 100 cavalry and Victor's brigade having 2,669 infantry. Aguero's right division consisted of 2,039 infantry and 80 cavalry commanded by General of Brigade Guillaume Mirabel, 4,127 infantry led by General of Brigade Jean-Joseph Guillou and a 235-man detachment under Jacques Laurent Gilly. Perignon directed brigades under generals of Brigade Dominique Martin, Théodore Chabert, François Pointe, Louis Lemoyne and Hyacinthe François-Joseph Despinoy, a detachment led by general of Brigade François-Jean-Baptiste Quesnel, the detachment of the left, La Barre's mixed brigade and an artillery reserve of 150 gunners. Martin led 3,091 infantry, Chabert 2,648, Point 2,774, Lemoyne 3,257, Despinoy 1,074 and Quesnel 550. 
La Barre commanded 1,357 infantry and 1,907 cavalry while the detachment of the left no commander given numbered 1,994 foot soldiers. During the winter, Ricardos travelled to Madrid to discuss the campaign. He died there on 13 March 1794, allegedly after having drunk a cup of poisoned chocolate intended for the king's favourite Manuel Godoy. It is more probable that Ricardos died of pneumonia. Ricardo's designated successor, Captain General Alejandro O'Reilly died on 23 March of an intestinal illness before he could reach the front. In the interim, Lieutenant General Geronimo Goran Moctezuma, Marquis de las Amarillas assumed leadership over the Army of Catalonia. But in late April, Lieutenant General Luis Fermin de Carvajal, Conde de la Union finally accepted command of the army. Dejected by the weakened state of the army, de la Union had refused army command three times, saying what was needed was an angel and not a man. <laughs> <laughs> Battle Baiting the trap De La Union deployed his 20,000-strong army to hold the Tech Valley, with defenses both north and south of the river. Lieutenant General Eugenio Navarro commanded the right flank division, whose positions included Collier and Port Vendras on the coast. The 8,300-man center division of Lieutenant General de los Amarillas held strongpoints at Labulu, Montesquieu de Albers and the Camp of Trompets. Lieutenant General Juan Miguel de Vives y Filiu with 5,500 soldiers of the left division defended Serre, where de la Union installed his headquarters. Lieutenant General John Forbes's Portuguese contingent deployed on the extreme left at Arles sur Tech and Amélie Les Bains Palalda. Dugamir placed Augaro on his right flank with 6,400 infantry and 80 cavalry. Augaro's right brigade occupied Tile, his center brigade Ohms, and his left brigade Loro. Saray's division of 7,300 infantry and 100 hussars held the coastal sector on the left flank. Paranon's centre division represented the main French striking force with 8,500 infantry and 1,300 cavalry, backed by three reserve brigades totaling 7,000 men. The French commander believed that the Spanish army's centre of gravity was too far west and planned to exploit this weakness. He hoped to cross the Tech and roll up the right flank of the Spanish centre division. To make this task easier, he directed Augaro to demonstrate in front of Serre and lure the Spanish into drawing more troops to their left flank. Perignon held his troops back from the river to hide the true French intentions. The main Spanish communications ran from La Boulou through the pass of La Perthus at 300 metres 984 feet altitude near the Fort de Belgarde. Dugamir wanted to force the Army of Catalonia into a retreat over the much more difficult Col du Porte at 800 metres 2,625 feet altitude, which was 4 kilometres 2.5 miles to the southwest of La Perthus. If he could achieve this, the Spanish might have to abandon their wagons, cannons, and supplies. In late April, Augaro built a redoubt at the saint Ferial Hermitage, north of Serre. De La Union countered by constructing two redoubts of his own. On 27 April, Augaro probed the Spanish positions, then retired. The following day, Augaro captured one of the new Spanish redoubts, prompting the Spanish army commander to order 2,000 troops under the Prince of Montforte from his center to his left. On 29 April, de la Union launched 3,000 troops, including cavalry led by General Pedro Mendinueta y Mesquiz, to attack Augaro on the north bank. Following his instructions, the French division commander fought a rear guard action, drawing the Spanish troops toward Ohms. De La Union finally called off the attack, but he left Mendinueta's cavalry to observe Augaro. That night, the Spanish generals held a council of war. De La Union's chief of staff Tomás Morla saw through Augaro's actions and proposed that Navarro's division attack on the right while de Vives and de los Amarillas joined forces and attacked the French center near La Boulou. The council voted to adopt this action, which would secure the supply road from La Boulou to Belgarde. As a precaution, the council decided to withdraw the army's trains by the road to Belgarde. However, they decided there was plenty of time to issue orders the next morning, rather than that evening. <inaudible> <inaudible> French attack 
In the early hours of 30 April, Paranon's division crossed the Tech at the Bruya Ford, planning to climb the mountains behind the Spanish camps in order to take the defences in the rear. Martin's left flank brigade marched past St. Genis des Fontaines and began ascending St. Christopher Peak. His men reached the Hermitage where they emplaced six cannon and thirteen howitzers to fire on the Spanish positions from the rear. Then part of his brigade advanced west to cut the road to Belgarde. Chabert's brigade advanced on Vallelong dels Monts while Point's right flank brigade began attacking the fortified camp at Montesquieu des Alberts, defended by Colonel Francisco Javier Venegas. La Barre supported Point's troops, while Victor with a reserve brigade occupied St. Genis to keep Navarro's division sending help to the Spanish center. Two more reserve brigades under Le Moyne attacked Trompets. While these battles were being fought in the center, Augereau retook Ohms from Mendinueta on the French right flank and Serre captured Argelis sur Mer from Navarro on the left. In order to give an impression of French superiority, Dugamir arrayed a large body of poorly trained volunteers near his headquarters at Banyuls dels Aspers. De la Union sent Montforte with 2,800 infantry and 800 cavalry to reinforce the camp of Trompets and del Puerto with 2,000 more to help Venegas. But neither of these forces were able to halt the concentrated French offensive. On 1 May, seeing his defences fatally compromised, De La Union made preparations to retreat. Montforte abandoned Trompets and withdrew to the south bank across a ford near La Boulou. That day, the French assault overran the camp at Montesquieu des Alberts and the Spanish retreated, taking the badly wounded Venegas with them. La Barre sent Quesnel with some cavalry along the south bank to cut off the Spanish retreat, but this effort failed. On the western flank, Augereau sent troops under Guiu and Mirabel to push Mendinueta's cavalry back to Serre, chased by Quesnel's cavalry. Montforte retreated south on the road to Belgarde. But at Les Cluses he ran into an ambush set by Martin's brigade. In a scene of chaos, a part of the Spanish wagon and artillery trains were wrecked or abandoned. The bulk of the Spanish army headed for Moreus Las Illas before climbing the steep road to the Col du Porte. After covering the withdrawal at Serre, de Vives pulled out of the town and Augaro crossed the bridge to harass the Spanish retreat. The Portuguese division withdrew across a pass farther west. <laughs> Results The Spanish army suffered 2,000 killed and wounded. An additional 1,500 soldiers, 140 guns, and all of the army trains and baggage fell into French hands. French losses were given as 20 killed. The number of wounded is not given. Historian Digby Smith stated, The Spanish army never recovered from this setback. After Boulou, the only Spanish forts on French soil were Collier and Belgarde. The French captured the first on 26 May while Belgarde held out until 17 September 1794. Notes Footnotes Citations <laughs> 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 <laughs>